explodes, also known as gastric dilatation valvulus, or GDP complex, is a medical and surgical emergency. As the stomach fills with air, pressure builds, stopping blood from the hind legs and abdomen from returning to the heart. Blood pools at the back end of the body, reducing the working blood volume and sending the dog into shock. As the stomach flips, it drags the spleen and pancreas along with it, cutting off the blood flow. The oxygen-starved pancreas can release inflammatory cells and toxins that may harm the heart. A dog can go through successful treatment and seem to be out of danger when suddenly the heart stops. What are the signs of bloating dogs? 1. An enlargement of the dog's abdomen. 2. Retching. 3. Salivation. 4. Restlessness. 5. An affected dog will feel pain and might whine if you press his belly. Without treatment, in only an hour or two, your dog will likely go into shock. The heart rate will rise and the pulse will get weaker, leading to death. How is blow treated? Veterinarians start by treating the shock. Once the dog is stable, he is taken into surgery. We do two procedures. One is to deflate the stomach and turn it back to its correct position. If the stomach wall is damaged, that piece is removed. Second, because up to 90% of affected dogs will have this condition again, we tack the stomach to the abdominal wall. A procedure called a gastropexy to prevent it from twisting. How can bloat be prevented? 1. Risk of bloat is correlated to chest conformation. Dogs with a deep, narrow chest, very tall rather than wide, suffer the most often from bloat. Large or giant breed dogs at greater risk include Great Danes, St. Bernard's, Weimaraners, Irish Setters, Gordon Setters, Standard Poodles, and Doberman Pinchers. A recent trend is to perform a preventive surgical gastropexy on an at-risk dog, often performed when a dog is sterilized. 2. If a dog has relatives who have suffered from bloat, there is a higher chance he will develop bloat. These dogs should not be used for breeding. 3. Foods containing soybean meal or having oil or fats in the first four ingredients increase the risk by fourfold. 4. Elevated food bowls are now known that doesn't make the risk of bloat less. 5. Dogs fed one meal a day are twice as likely to bloat as those fed two meals a day. 6. Fast eaters have five times the risk than dogs that are slow eaters. Using bowls with fingers slows dogs down physically. 7. Stressed dogs and those that are hyperactive are more likely to bloat. Separating dogs at feeding times may help reduce anxiety and stress surrounding food.